Well, hello, Bob Dendry here and welcome back to City Skylines. We're here today building the city of Lorikeet Valley and we've got a couple of things that I want to work on in this episode. So, welcome. Welcome to the show. So, basically, um, straight off the bat, what I um, had noticed actually when I was filming some sort of B-roll at the end of the last episode was this bus stop here. Look at it. It is absolutely packed um, and I have grabbed the uh, commuter destinations mod as well so I can actually have a look at the bus stop and see where everyone's going because we will probably need potentially a little bit more public transport so I'm gonna grab the line here and we'll just have a look and see where people are waiting so we've got quite a few people waiting here 339 and if we look at the destinations um, uh, quite a few of them are going into the city. I don't think anyone will be going back out, surely. No, it doesn't look like it. But the really big one... Um, if we go here, 630. So that's massive. Look at all of them. And if we sort of zoom in and have a look, they're going a lot of them are going to this sort of commercial um, node we have in old lorikeet valley uh, a few of them or quite a few of them are going over here as well to banksy hills slash birdsong area and i think there's a few as well that are going all the way up to garnet but not a massive amount um, so what i'm thinking we're probably going to do is we will um sort of week our public transport network a bit and I think it makes sense to uh, I guess sort of break that existing route into two so what we'll do we will have the um, existing line it will stay unchanged and we'll also run a shorter version of that line that goes um, from uh, Lorini and just goes into Lorikeet Valley and then comes back and if we have a look at our lines, we actually have a candidate already that we could use for that. And that is this line here that sort of goes from Lorikeet Valley, switches around in high hills, uh, high hills, sorry, and uh, goes back. So what I'm thinking we could potentially do here is actually extend that line. So I do want to keep that one at Lorikeet Park. Um, so we'll be, I, I guess there will be a point of difference there, so to speak. And what I'm going to do is have that run um, through High Hills. And from there, um, just run it up to Lorikeet Valley. Uh, sorry, uh, Lorini, I should say. And that will give us, um, as autosave runs and hangs my game, and basically what I want to do here is just to mirror the rest of the stops. I will change the color of the line as well because it's obviously a little bit confusing being the uh, same, more or less the same line color. And so what we'll do, we'll go to the line overview um, we also need to name our lines as well, which we've completely forgotten to do. <laughs> um, but it looks like it is line two that we've got here. Indeed. So we'll just, yeah, mirror that sort of to be the same as our um, existing line that runs over here. What we're going to do, I'm going to number these lines and give them a little bit of a description. So I'm going to quickly go through and do that before we proceed any further. Okay, so we've got that new or the reconfigured bus uh, running now and we also have given our bus routes nice names and numbers. So that is excellent and that will hopefully make things a little bit more easy to work out if I'm just looking at things from a glance. Fingers crossed. So we'll let those uh, new buses run for a little while and see if we can get um, some of these passengers at this uh, bus stop here hopefully moved on and um, hopefully getting where they need to go. Now another thing I want to do here is 
what's actually going to be a quite an interesting structural change to how the city runs and we have this large parcel of land that is undeveloped at this point and we also have um, some industrial and some sort of noxious uses here that probably aren't quite um, in line with essentially what we're doing with the city at this point. So if I have a look at our zoning, um, so we've got large nodes of commercial here and we have this uh, industrial sort of park and we've got landfill and we have water treatment plants and we have power plants and they are I guess really not in the right place you have industrial uses you know sort of just across the corner from residential and that is absolutely no good for our residents so we have a grand plan so the um, university uh, the sort of major regional university of this area that we're building in is looking to put down a campus in the area they recognize that lorikeet valley is a fast growing town and they recognize that there is an unmet need for education and that the community could potentially use some more people coming in as well so Basically what we're going to do, the city has agreed and the state government has agreed that we are going to rezone this area here in, uh, in Lorikeet Valley in this sort of industrial park. We're going to move some of our more noxious uses such as our um, landfill, such as our sewage plant and our power plants and we're actually going to move them to a new purpose built industrial park. Um, on the outskirts of town. So basically what I'm going to do, we're going to get set up with doing that. We're going to move everything, we're going to get our landfill emptied out and hopefully by the end of the episode we should be in a good position to start building that university. So where we're going to be putting down our new sort of uh, um, industrial park is going to be quite close to these farms. Obviously not too close as pollution is going to negatively affect how those farms are running. but Basically, we've got a good opportunity here that we can um, get our sort of rail yards set up over here and we can start to migrate everything across. So it's going to be another episode of building a rail yard. Um, we're probably going to, not going to sort of focus too much on it. We're going to try and sort of get it smashed out and so we can move on to the next thing. But potentially I might break off this into a separate video. So if you're interested in actually watching that in detail, um, you can click on the link in the bottom right there and you'll see that in detail. But let's get started.
Okay, so we've got a, a nice little yard with some strange train behavior happening. <laughs> um, I mean, it could do with a little bit more detailing, but I think we'll leave it for the moment. Um, so basically what we've got now is we've got some space on the other side of this um, um, this depot sort of area that we could now use for a bit of freight. So we're going to grab an industrial road and we're just going to start by just running it along the side of this depot. And we can do a little bit of gridding here. What we might do as well is to slightly realign this uh, this highway as well, just to allow a little bit more grid. So we are going to run this as a, continue to run it as a two-way highway. Um, how we're going to make this work is that we are not going to, well, in fact, we can't by default anyway. So we're not going to zone anything on the highway. Everything will have to feed off the, uh, the industrial type area. So this is, is actually going to um, introduce some things we'll need to plan for um, because this isn't great um, sort of having industrial areas loading onto a highway like this, but I'm, I guess, sort of introducing this on purpose um, because it's going to give us something that we'll need to fix, you know, in future. So we've fixed that up now. We're just going to run some water. And what we're going to do here is uh, pretty much just going to be laying down zoned industrial. Just going to put that down there. We should be covered by power. No, I don't know why that's flashing. That is a bit weird. Uh, but hopefully we can get some power across there. We might use a suburban power line, maybe. Yep, there we go. We're just gonna run that across, which should cover that. Perfect. And we're also gonna use this area here near our maintenance facility for some further um, noxious uses, so probably more towards our like, water treatment plants and stuff like that. And once again, it probably makes sense for that to be here. So now that we've got some zoning down, what I'm actually going to do, we're going to remove all the industrial zoning in this area. So we're going to start to, to remediate that. We're going to start pulling down those buildings and before too long, hopefully most of that industrial use will have moved over. So we're going to set up this area as a bit of a campus for sort of public works type stuff. Um, first thing we want to do is move across our sewage treatment plants. I'm going to pause the game while I do that. We're going to cheat a little bit. Um, but, you know, I guess it makes sense to do it this way rather than rebuilding them or deleting and placing them. I don't know. We're going to turn off Anarchy as well. And we'll just get those hooked up to the uh, network. And 
hopefully we'll get power to them. We actually won't, but um, I think it'll be all right. It's been on pause again. And what have we got left that we need to move? So we've got a recycling depot, easy as. I'm just gonna straight up move that. And we can probably put that on this side of our depot. Now we have a landfill that is actually already emptied. Um, so we can actually just sell that. So we've got a landfill that's full. So we're going to need to empty that one out and it will take a little while. That is okay. We're not gonna cheat and remove it with move it or anything like that. And then we've got two power stations. And where can we put those? It may actually make sense to put those over here in our ore area, or it might sort of make sense. I suppose it's not the most realistic, but I think we might move them over here. Because this is sort of uh, quite a sort of heavy industrial area. One of them's an oil-fired power plant. <laughs> one of them's coal, so one of them will be covered, I guess. And what is left? So we've got our biofuel bus depot. We will need to probably move that as well. Um, we've got our landfill site that still needs to be emptied, and we've got our helicopter depot. And uh, that one we will move over to Probably the Lorikeet Farms area. The Some of the residents may not be happy about it, but it's where it's going. So deal with it, I guess. And that's pretty much everything we need, really. So I'm gonna just go through and delete these industrial uses. What else have we got left? Is that it? That is it. So we've got all our industrial um, uses are now removed from this area. Um, obviously, if we go and look at our pollution, the pollution is going to remain there for a little while, so we would need to do some some sort of pollution abatement. We would need to probably skim off quite a reasonable amount of topsoil to move the contaminated stuff out. And of course, we've still got our landfill that's in use, um, which obviously is still going to be contributing to pollution. So what we're going to do, uh, probably for the rest of this episode, we're just going to leave it like that. Um, and that will, I, I guess, represent the... Yeah, the sort of quite intense remediation work we'd need to be doing on that parcel of land. So we'll move on and do something else for a little bit and we'll come back there a little bit later. I just want to check up on our um, passengers numbers at here and there's still a lot. <laughs> Three ninety one, no seven seven six, even more. So where are they going? Are they still going to the same areas? Well, there's a lot going now to this sort of commercial area here. Could we potentially serve them with a train station here? I mean, it's. Oh, I mean, it's not a ridiculous amount of sort of space. Well, they're not ridiculously close, the these two stations here. So I think we could put another station here. And I think, in fact, we're going to do that. Oh, and we have power issues. Okay. Um, got our two power plants. Hmm. That's interesting.
just considering where we can potentially put down another power plant and we might just add one again to the garnet area and that will yeah do us for quite a while yet yeah so looking at stations we potentially We've got some space here we could slot a station in, which probably makes more sense than having it sitting on our main road here. Um, we've got a bus station here as well, so it would be quite close to transport. So I think what I'm going to do is place down um, just a... Actually, we will... Hmm, just thinking. What could we put down? Just pondering where we could actually put this. So I'm thinking what, what I'm going to do here is we'll place a little street here. Um, I have prop and tree anarchy on, don't I? Let's try that again. Okay, that's better. <laughs> So I'm going to place a little road there, and then we're going to... Ah, oh, we can't quite get it in. Let's use Anarchy. And we'll just quickly fix that up. Alright, so we're going to reroute this train line already. <laughs> um, so, sorry. But it has to be done. just has to be done. That is fugly. <laughs> ah well. We just wanted to avoid at all costs having a um, uh, level crossing on Birdsong Boulevard. Okay, so we should now be able to perfect. All right, so we've got our somewhat ugly um, <laughs> station all set up and good to go and ooh that's not nice okay so hopefully we will start to get some um, commuters using the train service rather than waiting for that bus fingers crossed anyway and looking at our pollution map, as you can see, um, this pollution is coming right down. We've just got the um, landfill site that we need to empty out for that to really finish off being uh, removed, I guess. So that is okay. 
And how is our industrial area going? Uh, it's going pretty crap. <laughs> no industry buildings coming up at all, um, but that's fine. It's not really needed at this point, so to speak. But we do have some demand that we're just going to finish off this episode. Um, sort of, you know, taking care of that, getting some more houses down. And I think over at Valley Side, it's probably a good place for us to start. Okay, and we have a lot of grid to play with here. Um, so we do have some commercial demands. So we're gonna put a few small nodes in and around the place for, you know, corner shops, that sort of stuff. Um, so obviously we're sort of trying to keep our residents close to, you know, the services and the goods they need. And the rest, well, we're just gonna throw down just that. And we'll increase the size of our valley side suburb as well to, uh, to take all of that in. So that should uh, give us a big boost in our residence and we may need to look at putting some more services in there as well. As you can see, our Department of Works is hard at work getting the ground pollution, you know, skimmed off the top of this land so we can hopefully in the next episode produce a beautiful university. But that is about all we have time for for this episode. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. I want to give a quick shout out to my Buy Me A Coffee supporters. Their details are on screen now. If you're interested in supporting the channel, the link is in the description. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry. This has been City Skylines. And until next time, goodbye.